Hey everybody, welcome back to my 30 Days to Die series. So I'm just going to back up here. I showed you this uh, house there in sort of an update episode. I'm going to play a full episode today. It's a little bit after 5, so it's like an hour late. Um, because I've been working on a bunch of stuff in the house here. So um, on the this side of the house over here, um, I was able to find a ton of iron underground in my mine. Uh, this isn't even all of it. There was a couple, like three more stacks. It's already It's already been cooked up in here. Um, it's still going. Oh, we've got some. Let's put some more in there. Uh, I've been cooking clay and stuff too in the meantime. So we'll just put a bunch more in here. So yeah, um, that's been going on. Uh, and not only that, uh, let's do this. Get it close to the same. Yeah, good enough. Um, will this not go any more than? No, it won't. Oh, I gotta be careful about that. I did not know that. Uh, let's make, um, I'm going to make 500, oops, not 580, 500, forge steel, and then we'll do uh, a couple of hundred rebar frame, and we will do uh, forged iron, a couple hundred of that, get all these going. Now that's all going to do that, so let's drop this in here. Yeah, good enough, and let's get some more wood. I got some stuff to show you here in a second. Um, I'm going to need like at least 100 and something. Sorry guys. Um, yeah, so... That should probably be enough, I think. Um, so I found a way to um, crush... Um, cobblestone or stone into um, there we go into um, sand and I had to get another uh, concrete mixer here to d and I just you know you just put small stones in here and you get one piece of crushed sand so I don't have to go to the desert to dig up sand anymore uh, which is great now the things I've changed uh, I've changed a couple things I've added some space here in the house as you can see um, so we've got kind of like a little bar kitchen here. Um, I purchased the empty sink. I purchased the wine barrel. I pur purchased the sign, the stool, some leather couches. I know I could make these, but I just bought them. Actually, I made the leather couches, but I bought the rest of the stuff. And then I added some space over here uh, with some concrete, reinforced concrete steps. It's all been painted. Uh, so that's this side of the house. Now I put a wall in the center here. This is the first four lines of reinforced concrete and then the rest is just wood going up. But I painted it all, painted all the sides here. There's the stairwell. Um, if we go in here, this is kind of going to be the garage. So there's our bike. And I did this whole side in here too. It's all been painted. This is all con real concrete now. Uh, not reinforced, but just regular concrete. But the walls are all up to here, all reinforced concrete. So yeah, that's that. Now, the whole time we've been working on this, um, there has been a flood of zombies smashing into the walls outside. Um, I've been trying to keep up with um, keeping everything repaired outside, but uh, the last day and a bit, I've just been inside. I'm just going to take a quick look around. I've expanded my spikes a little bit on these, this side because they were mostly hitting here. Yeah, they came through here a little bit. Not much. What else? Yeah, not much over here. Oh, they came a little bit over here. At least it sounded like it was a lot worse than what I got here. It sounded like there was a watering hole. I know there's been a lot of screamers. There's a couple there. But not as bad as I thought it was going to be. A lot of the times there's like huge holes in the... Uh... Yeah, no, we made out pretty well. I put iron spikes up here. Yeah, because they were kind of coming up and over and into the uh, spikes underneath the uh, ramp here at nighttime. But it actually fared fairly well. It's not so bad. So yeah, we're slowly working. I haven't done the outside of the house yet. We're going to be working on that it's sooner or later. But uh, today, what I'm planning on doing is we're going to hit up... Um, where is it here? I revealed part of the map. I think I'm going the wrong way. Maybe I'm not. I revealed part of the map... Um, is this it up here? The bookstore? There it is. Let's put a quick waypoint there. Um, so we're going to go to the, this bookstore I found today. 
crack of books. It's a full full size bookstore. Um, I drove around. I've been kind of um, um, I needed lead, so I hit up a whole bunch of boulders. Um, I'm running low on eggs, so I was like out just looking for birds' nests to get eggs. Um, I didn't really I didn't raid any POIs, but I did kill a bunch of zombies. Oh, there's a bear. Oh, sorry. Hey, what's up, Mo? Oh, I missed you. Can't have everything, I guess. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I revealed part of the map. Um, which kind of allows me to at least see some of the other towns that are nearby. Alright, we gotta go this way. This is the way I came back last time. Uh, I found a good way to get brass, too. If you go to the burnt forest by him, there's a lot of those burnt houses that just like kind of like the corner of a house. And if you find the one with a sink on them, or a sink in it, um, nine times out of ten it's got a brass faucet that you just break off with a uh, roof. I feel so bad for you, but you would attack me if I uh, if I got off my bike. So you deserve what you get. All right. Uh, yeah, so you can get a lot of brass off those, and the great thing about them uh, is each faucet gives you like a hundred brass. I was shocked when I melted it up. I was like, "Wow, that's a lot of brass." So we're gonna have a quick look here. Uh, does this one have one? Yeah, here we go. So we'll have a look. And if we just knock this off of here, there we go. Brass faucet, and that's a hundred brass right there. Ah. Let's just take it. I've been using up my glass jars like like they're water. Cause I've had to, I had to make a ton of paint, like a ton of paint, to paint that place, to get it to how what what it is now. Um, like I think I made it close to three thousand uh, paint. So it's a fair bit. Uh, empty glass jars. I mean, I know I can make my own glass jars, but it just saves me having to break glass and throw it in the, f the forge and go ahead and do that. What's up, buddy? All right, let's get over to that cracker books. I'm not. I'm not going to stop. I can always mine brass off camera. I decided that I think for the next ep episodes, like we got 15 more days before the next horde, so we're like doing pretty good. Actually, I'm going to grab this brass faucet. Um, uh, we got 15 more days, so we're doing pretty good, but what I'll probably do for the next episodes is we're just gonna hit up POIs and stuff Okay, let's just drop this into the bike. Well, we'll drop it in the bike when we get there because you know Because me um, Yeah, so I'm gonna spend my time on camera hitting up POIs. I think that was a bird, wasn't it? Was that the zombie? Find out in a second. I don't see a bird. All right. Um, yeah, so we'll hit up POIs for the next episodes. I'm going to try and find some good ones. And we'll just go around hitting them up. Getting what we can from them. Um, this, I think the uh, this these brass fi fittings and stuff are going to come um, in more useful after the next horde. Um, the next horde is going to be like... Not so bad. I haven't done as much killing as I have in the first 30 days. So I don't know what to expect. I mean, I've, I've already started my base and I'll explain to you a little bit. Once I get that a little bit more developed, what I'm planning on doing. It's kind of a combination of my old style base and a, and a uh, slightly different idea. Like I said, I'm going to do like a bunker. Kind of like a machine gun bunker. There's another brass fitting there. We'll pick that up. We'll hit up some of these houses too while we're here. Here's a cracker book. All right, since I haven't been fighting, let's get warmed up. Is there a thing there? No, we're gonna get warmed up on these two. And we're gonna get the, um, the gas barrels as well. Also, I gotta hit up as many bird's nests as I can. So that's great. I mean, we just hit those up and we got like, you know, that's going to be like 500 brass. It's two per casing, so it's 250 rounds that we can make. Uh, who do we want to hit first? The grocery or the pills? 
We could do both. How crazy do we want to be? I haven't fought in a while, so let's just do one at a time. Really, guys? Oh, for crap's sake. I don't know if she's a runner or not. He is. Alright. Get off me. The double tap. You got any more runners? Not that I can see. Alright. Well, good thing we warmed up, eh, man? Imagine going in there. Oh, you yeah, brought my arrow back. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we got to look at skills, too. Because now we have the opportunity to make a uh, 4x4. It's a, it's not that bad. It's relatively reasonable, resource-wise. Glad you didn't destroy that gas barrel. Oops. Yeah, we don't need this. All right, let's go upstairs and see who else is up there. Oh, take that. It's a good source of income, gas barrels, so if you can get them. Like I was saying on my other series, I'm not sure if you guys have started watching that or if you're going to watch it at all. Um, gas barrels are great to pick up because they stack and they're worth 75 each at the trader. It's pretty awesome. I really shouldn't be picking up this wood. I don't know why I'm doing it. You know what I should do, though? Might as well get the glass while I can. I'm not going to break all the windows, though. Uh, let's go in the front door. I think we got everybody here. Yeah, busted still. We're going to take that down. Don't need beakers anymore, which is nice. Although it would be nice to have a second chemistry station going, but we don't need it. You know what we can do? Let's just use this. Get our max health back up and going. Oh yeah, the other thing too is I want to check out this... Uh, Treasure map. We'll do that in a minute. Let's wrench this apart. Sorry for the lagginess. I'm not sure what's going on with this game, but getting this weird, like, we're just weird random lag spikes for some reason. Yeah, we didn't get much out of that, but it's always worth doing. Notice I'm, I don't have my nerdy glasses on at all. Um, I've been keeping them off just because I, like, you know, like everybody says, you always keep forgetting to put on put on your uh, lucky like your looting goggles, and I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll just leave them on now when I'm out. That's somebody upstairs. Okay, big mama. We got triple damage on our bow now for sneak attack. This guy's probably a winner. He sure is. Save our ammo. Now we can't shoot him through these bars. It's kind of crappy that that's the case, but... Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, he's a runner. We're running. Sorry, I'm jumping around here like crazy. Oh! Get off me. Oh, they're all on the roof too. What do you know? This cracker book is going to be fun. Well, at least they all come over here now. And they're all walkers. Alright, let's mix it up. She's twerking. Oh, Mo! Oh! Stay down! Oh, we got another runner. he came from yeah we're doing some hard hitting with this club now and it's all quiet all quiet on the western front all right let's uh, use this thought I heard somebody moving over here he must have been in the back room 
Yeah, it looks like it probably was. Let's get these open. Man, it's such a difference. These tools now. I'm gonna take everything. Just so much easier to do everything now once you get a good set of tools. That's just a walker outside. Already got that. I don't need the wood. I don't know why I'm stopped for the wood anyway. Alright, let's go up here. That's a walker outside. I'm not really worried about it. Yeah, so that that's a that's an iron fossil. We don't really need that. Huh. Man. So the one thing we do, that's the whole reason why I'm here. He's inside. I need to find a... Um, there we go. I need to find a uh, rad remover. Ooh! Dude! I thought for sure he was going to hit me. I got lucky there. All right, so we need to find a rad remover um, for my weapons. Hopefully for the AK or the SMG or something along that line. Simply because I don't want to be like fighting radiated zombies without it. All right, let's load up our bike with a bunch of gack. Stuff that's I know most likely will never be in here. Leave the faucets on me for now. I'm going to keep the painkillers just in case. Alright, we should be good to go. <sighs> How crazy do I want to be here? Oh, it doesn't look too bad. I should probably go to the roof first, though. Oh, he's a runner. Does not know where to go. At least you're bringing all my arrows back to me. Oh, there's somebody coming down. Yep. He's angry. He's also dead. He's dead and angry. No, you cannot have my steel arrows. Oh, of course. Well. That was relatively easy. Oh, we got a runner. Let's see if we can Glock 9 this. He's good at killing him with a bow, but... Oh, it's a cop. Got a guy coming off the roof. He's not a runner. Oh, we took that one right in the noggin. Okay. I don't know why we're getting these stupid lag spikes. It's just killing me. I got nothing going on in the background. Restarted my computer. Restarted the game. Dumbass lag spikes. Like I could see it if I was compressing video in the background. Cause only when I, what are you doing? Cause only when I compress video I got lag spikes, right? Like it's, it's only when I'm compressing that I usually get lag spikes. I don't know why it's doing it now. Anyway, we inside now. I don't know if there's anybody else on the roof. Okay, there's lots of book stuff here, but we want to make sure we got everybody first. Yeah, somewhere there's got to be a rad remover here. Is this open? Locked. Maybe the bathroom's open. Okay, I don't see anybody. I don't like 
practice. Can't see her eyes. She looked normal to me. Okay, three down. She didn't hang on to my arrow. How rude. Anybody back here? Doesn't look like it. All right, then. I think they put stuff like that in front of the door to give the zombies a better chance of hearing you. That's a cop. Because of course it is. Let's see if we can kill her. Okay. Ooh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That's somebody outside, I think. Got one more. Two more. Shoot. I could have probably just killed him with a shotgun, but... Just feel free to beat on that door, guy. Oh! <laughs> well... Somebody in there, I have no idea if it's a cop. Can't tell. Ah, oh, I twisted my wrist at the last second. Alright, wire tool. Is that a cop? That's a cop. Two cops. Oh my god. And a tweaker. Talk about getting lucky. They didn't even have the uh, decency. Oh, he did. I was going to say they didn't have the decency to, to uh, hang on to my stuff. Eh, no safe. Alright. Let's hope for some good stuff. I hear ya. I'm coming to get ya. You, you're, you're out here feeling dejected, I get that. There you are. Now you're included. Okay, rad remover. Nope. Helmet flashlight? Nope. 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 And nope. Alright, let's hit up all of the open bookshelves first. Nope. And nope. There were 75 each, but ah, some plating. What's up, buddy? See this? This is gonna be you. Told ya. Oop. Didn't listen to me, though. That's your problem. Alright, what's in here? Nothing. And nothing. Okay, that was what? First group schematic, which is actually not that bad. I've got on a, I've got that kind of a, the burst group on a pi my my pistol and my other series. It's kind of nice. It fires like a couple rounds really quickly. Oh, money, cha ching, cha ching. Thank you, buddy. What's this? Laser sight, reflex sight schematic. Okay. 
we've got so many um, slots open and stuff too so we could easily um, make these schematics and put them on our weapons and stuff all right did we check this one already yeah we did all right let's just get into the boxes now uh, we got what two this was a, not a very fruitful mission Oh, silencer. Okay, that's nice. Can't say no to that. And you know what? I'm going to just chop this up. One second. Alright, you know, we didn't really need that, but... I'm just grabbing it because... I don't have room. Uh, scrap this. And we can scrap this. Scrap. Uh, scrap this. We'll just put the shiz on our bike in a second here. And scrap. Ah, we got a pipe in our bike, I think. Ah, scrap that. Take that. Okay, well. We really didn't get anything amazing out of here. So let's have a look around. I didn't really go through this town all that much. So I have kind of an idea what's here. I've been burning through leather making furniture and doing other goofy things with it, so it's good to have some extra. Alright, um... Oof. Maybe we should go back first. Ah, we're not too bad. We can't hit anything big though, that's the thing, right? I mean, what don't we need? We really, we don't, we don't need this. So let's put this in there. Uh, we don't need the chrysanthemums. We got them at home. We don't need feathers. Uh, we can scrap this. Put this in there. You know what? We can scrap all this too. Put that in there. Uh, what else? We can scrap. Forged iron. Let's bring that out because we can then repair once we're out of the uh, bike inventory. Don't need those. Don't need the plastic. I got a ton of plastic. Technically, I don't even need the meat. Yeah, it's probably fine. Um, so let's repair this. We cannot repair it for some reason. Why? Oh, we need steel. Oh, that's a steel axe. I thought that was, uh... Yeah, well, okay. Uh, Alright, let's have a read of this. If you've got this, I'm probably dead or even worse. One of the monsters. I leave this map to one of the, my many stockpiles of buried supplies. Well, if you watch my other series, you'll know that was definitely fortuitous the last time. So we're going to go and do that right now. It's, what, 3.15? It's not that far away. Not for the motorbike, anyway. Okay, it's probably on the other side of this town. This was the one with Bob's boars in it. And we find it. I don't can't remember. You know, honestly, I should have marked it on the map. I know people say, mark it on the map. Yeah, you're right. I should. I'm sure there's other stuff here that I forgot to mark down. So this is one of those towns we're going to have to come back to. I want to try to find a few big POIs. Like Waterworks isn't isn't too bad. Apparently, it's pretty large on the inside. I just watched a video from uh, Reach Gaming that was uh, kind of highlighting the more difficult POIs to go through, and that was one of them. Oh, stop! You ain't gonna catch me. All right. No problem is we gotta dig this up now too. close behind this building I guess stay out of the cornfields stay out of the minefields oh my god are you kidding me where else would it be size right next to a goddamn minefield Grab some eggs. 
Well, at least we don't have to worry about these guys in here getting to us. It's right here somewhere. Alright, let's start digging. And there it is. Oh, that guy hit a mine over there. Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, I don't know. It's no 4,000 coins like my other guy got, but we'll take it. Watch how quickly this axe goes through this tree now. One, two, three, and we're done. How's the waterworks? What time is it? Oh, there's clunky oil. Let's go in there. We can get a ton of barrels. We'll just break in the front door. Just gonna go and get the oil barrels. Got a few other guys around here we can kill. While we's breaking in. Yeah, the last time I went out, I forgot to bring gas with me. And, uh... It's so great, just being a, just bring a wrench and just take apart a car. Just refill where you're out. Okay, there's that guy taken care of. Alright, let's do this. It's so different than my other series. It's so easy just to break into stuff now. Let's watch out for runners. Gonna go with the bow first. We're gonna look around here because we gotta smash in this door to get inside. Okay, I don't see anybody here. Doesn't mean there might not be guys up on top. If there is, hopefully they hear me and come down. It's all quiet. Dude, you're out in, this, out in the cold. Out in the cold. Sorry, I had to keep him quiet. Wow, there's like nobody here. Dude, I'm over here. Really? There you go. You're making noise. Stop making noise. How am I supposed to infiltrate a base when you're making noise, guy? Is that somebody standing over there? Yeah, it is. And he's a runner. Where's he going? Did he just go inside? Oh yeah, because that's the quickest way to get to me. Dude. All right, well. He's breaking on something over there. Oh, Willie gets out. Come on, get up. Oh, I missed your head. This is where I got attacked from behind. Now he's banging on a wall. Last thing you want to do is fire a gun in here, man. Clunky oil. Best place to go if you need gas. Okay, maybe he's forgotten about me. He says, and then gets attacked from behind. I don't know why he went the other way. Oh, he's just inside there. Right up Main Street. Okay. 
Where is he going? <sighs> Forget it. There you are. There's the other guy too. Oh. Okay, I'm a little more confident now. Which is why we should take off and go home. Because if I stay out here, I'll get overconfident. And we'll die horribly. I'll ah, take the brass. See that lag spike? I wish I knew what the hell was causing that. Ah, we came in here, right? Yeah. Look, I didn't fire my gun off. Why are you guys coming out of all over the place? You need me to level up. That's what it is. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, might as well take the uh, old sham sandwich because that's going to be delicious. Delicious for the ride home. All right, we got a couple things over here we can hit up real quick. Let's grab the brass faucet. Because 100 brass, thank you very much. Take those. And that. All right, let's get out of here. Gonna head back to the house now. Um, and actually, we'll head back to the back of the house. I'll kind of show you what I'm planning on doing for the horde base. All right, here we are, back at the house. Kind of. The back of the back of the house. Um, so, this was our old horde base. The idea was to try and get them to come up the ramp and be shooting them straight on. I'm gonna do something similar here, but just on a larger scale. So this is gonna be our, our base here. Um, this is going to be where they're going to be coming down. Let's just get some frames out here so we can go up and I can show you kind of a rough idea of what I'm thinking here. I don't know whether this is going to work or not, but we'll see. Okay, so the idea, this is going to be at one high here, one more higher. And we'll be right here shooting straight down this way. Now, I'm going to um, angle these out like this. I, got, I can build angled blocks, so I, I can build angle out like this on both sides. Uh, across here like this to make that a little wider down at that end there Because um, then I can fill it with more spikes and more barbed wire and everything and then we're gonna put a, a sloping ramp down this side a gently sloping ramp So it's easier for them to get up uh, They can come around this side come around this side and climb up the ramp now the sides will be blocked off So they can't go over the side um, Like I did with that one there, but it's not going to have a roof on it like that one does It's just going to be three high so that they can't get over um, but they'll be right down in this corridor right here. If they want to stack up on top of each other, that's just fine with me. But we're going to fill this all with spikes um, and barbed wire and make them really, really slow. Now in here, you're going to have this gap that's like th probably three wide. And I'm going to put a couple of um, sort of half angle blocks to make it look like they think they can get over to me. But when they go, they're just going to slide off and fall down here. Then they'll have to run back around and climb back up again. It's kind of the classic killing killing corridor, just on a little bit bigger scale. I have no idea if it's going to work right, um, but uh, that's what we're going to go with. And I'm going to have a big bunker window open here. Um, it'll be like five wide, but I'm going to angle it up. So what we have on that one is just sort of a flat plane. Um, what I'll have is iron bars on the outside, then there'll be like an ang angled concrete block so I can shoot down, um, straight down. There'll be like a big iron cage um, and then when I'm looking out I can I'll be able to see down I'll be able to see up there'll be an iron cage out on the outside of that and then on the inside another iron cage so if they take the iron cage on the outside down then I still have iron cages on the inside um, so I don't have to worry about cops shooting like spitting at me and stuff like that if the iron goes down it'll be a double sort of uh, system so that's kind of where I'm headed with this I wasn't really sure how I was gonna do it originally I was gonna do one uh, system where I could throw molotovs and stuff but I think what I'll do is I'll put a cage in the roof like I've got on that one um, just a little higher with an open face on it that I can if I want to just kind of go up and throw molotovs down into here I can I'm able to do that which I'll probably end up doing um, and this time I won't make the mistake like I did last time where having my back to the house where the zombies spawn inside my walls <laughs> this time they'll be spawning out in that direction hopefully uh, and then coming around and coming up here and, and getting into the fight now this is all going to be solid con concrete probably a seven by seven base maybe a nine by nine I don't know 
Uh, I got so much resources, I don't really care at this point. It's just going to be really, really huge and really tall. So if they decide, for whatever reason, just to try and hammer on this, it's going to take them forever to get through. Now, I haven't decided what I'm going to do here as a, a backup escape plan. Uh, my first thought was to dig a tunnel down under here and into the base. But then if they got in there, I'd have to have it all fortified and stuff so they couldn't get into my base. Most likely what I'll do is I'll have it so that I can get out the top and have a gangplank over to that base over there. So if this base fails, I'll be able to get up and go over to that one. Um, and we can finish off the Horde Knight there. Uh, hopefully we don't get any spawners inside our walls. I'm most likely going to end up... Um, I've got a uh, another drawbridge. So what I'm going to do to keep the house protected is I'm going to put a drawbridge and I'll show you where I'm going to put that. One second. Alright, so let's go have a look out back. So what I'm planning on doing is getting that drawbridge. I've already got it built, so I'm probably going to put it like right here. So this will come out across here four wide. It'll be solid concrete all the way down. I might do a second wall on the outside here. It's pretty tough. Re 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 a couple of blocks of reinforced concrete, plus my floor is up here, right? So it's a good distance off the ground. But I'll knock all this out, put the drawbridge in here, um, and then I'll fill this down here with spikes and stuff. Uh, and reinforce it a little more. I'll have to make um, these pillars a little thicker because they were beating on them last time. So I'll probably make them either I'm, I'm like I might I don't know make it a like a, a four wide by two long, so four by two on both of these, or I don't know yet, or a four by four, something like that. But it'll be nice and solid. Uh, the drawbridge will come down and it'll allow me to get out this way. Um, it'll be down for the start of the fight, and then when we need to get out of here, we can just run, pull it up, and then we're inside the house. Now, like I said, I still have a bit of work to do out here, um, just to keep it safe from cops, because cops will spit up here, right? So, and I probably, I don't know, I might, we did okay against the birds last time. If I make this four wide, like I can make this bars along here, um, when the birds come in, I can just shoot them. Um, but yeah, so, and then this one will go up here real quick. And I'll just, I'll probably right here or back here, I'll put a ladder up that I can get out and a hatch. And then, you know, we'll just run back from over there along a gangplank, land us here, right, right down inside here. We can get in here and just, you know, work on the horde from this place. Um, the spikes that we're going to use on that other one are all going to be um, iron reinforced spikes. Uh, so we're going to be using the forged iron to make iron spikes and I'll all be iron spikes. I'm going to use uh, Cage's trick. I don't know if it was just him that uses it, but you put uh, just regular barbed wire. So if we go to uh, barbed wire here, just make this regular flat barbed wire and put it on top of the iron spike. So if they jump up on it, they get stuck in the barbed wire trying to move and they take damage and it just slows them down. And then when I'm firing at them from one end, um, I just have to keep my fire up and above the, uh, the uh, spikes and I should be able to just, you know, mow them down. Now I'm Probably, I don't know whether I'll use a submachine gun. I might just use the, the marksman rifle to start off with. Um, and just snipe them as they come. But once again, like I said, I need a rad remover to be able to handle those uh, radiated zombies a little bit more effectively. Without that, we're going to have a little bit of a hard time, I think. So, but, you know, because this is 30 days to die, we have so much time to get ready for the for the horde that uh, we, we shouldn't really have to worry about it. I'm going to make a bunch of mines too, lay them out around in front, uh, just to thin out the horde before it actually arrives um, and I'll, I'll scatter them around I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear all that grass off so I'll be able to see them like I did down here and I'll just drop them out there uh, so when we come back to make repairs I'll be able to see them and I don't have to worry about them like we still have a few left here but I don't think I'll fill anything in down here wow that lag is killing me um, I won't fill any more mines in here but I will use them over there maybe I'll put some behind the base too like back here or something I don't know just to, to kill a few of them before they actually get going. So, yeah, uh, that's the plan anyway. All right. So, you know, if they get in here, I'm pretty much done for. Like, I've got no way to defend this upstairs. They can come in here and destroy us. I'll, I'll, I would get out the back and run and bail out and take off running across the field before I let them in here. But uh, if we die, too, we're going to be ending up in the uh, desert way over there. Oh, yeah, also I made a sawmill. So we can make uh, furniture and other cool stuff here to make the house look nice. Um, I'll probably be making some wooden catwalks for up, upstairs on the upper part of the uh, building. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there really wasn't too much to it. I wish there was more fighting, but the next time um, I'm going to 
probably to be driving around, finding some good POIs to hit up. Um, try and find a shotgun messiah. We might go to the waterworks that we were just over there. Uh, if we get there first thing in the morning, like if we leave early enough, uh, we should be able to hit that up and um, uh, get some stuff out of that. I, I think it's a relatively long POI from what I understand, so it may take us a while to get through it. Um, but uh, if it does, that's fine. We can always find a place there to camp overnight. Um, I'm not really that worried about camping overnight anywhere. Um, you know, we'll just do our best. All right, so I'm going to end the episode here. Um, yeah, until next time, we'll just, you know, see everybody later.